Hello friends, so in this problem we are going to discuss the third problem which is the palindromic game, the hard version. So I have already discussed the easy version, if you haven't checked that video out, you can check the video out. And it is like just extending out the same logic which we have used in the problem B1 which is the easy version. So if you haven't checked that, it will make this problem look more easier. So the problem is different from the B1 problem. The B1 problem has the initial string which is a palindrome but in this it is not a palindrome. Now, if you just see that why a string is not a palindrome, okay, the string is palindrome when, so let's see that if I draw out some example, the string is palindrome as you can see, if these two bits are balanced, like balance means that both of them are same. So if it is zero, this is zero. If this is one, this is one. So both of them are equal on the, uh, on the side. So as you can see, if this is zero, this is zero. Okay. This like for a palindromic string, if you take out the ith bit and n minus i minus 1 bit, then they should be, uh, if you draw this from the middle, then they should be like a mirror image. So if this is 0, this should be 0. If this is 1, this should be 1. But if, if I told you that this is 1, this is 0. And this is like 1, 1, this is like 0, 1, 1, 0. Now in this sense, this is not palindrome because these are not same. These are not same. This is same. So this is a balance part, which is correct. But this is not same also. So the string will become palindrome when all the unbalanced parts, like this is the unbalanced, this is the unbalanced, and this is the unbalanced. If these unbalanced part, the balanced balance part is if, if either if one is one and the other is zero, and if one is zero, the other is one. So if this will be an unbalanced part, but this will form a balanced part. I hope you get the point. So if we somehow rectified all the unbalanced part, then it will become a palindrome string. So we will somehow make all the strings, the unbalanced part equal to the balanced part and then it will become palindrome. And if it becomes palindrome, then it will be boiled down to the same problem, which is earlier we have seen. So first in this problem, we're gonna first find out what are the positions which are unbalanced. So just iterate from left to right to the middle and just check the, if the ith bit and the n minus i minus one, which is like the, like the mirror image out of that bit, if they are different, if they're different, then just count it out and find out how many different bits are there. And then also convert that bit to one. So if whatever is because the string is either one zero or zero one and just convert the zero to one part so that after finding out all the different bits, you have the string, which is left dot, which is a palindrome. Okay. Now, if you have a palindromic string, uh, the part is, I've already told in the previous problem, if the number of zeros in the palindromic string is even, then you will eventually lose. But like whichever player has an even plan, like whichever player has a palindromic string, which has even, even number of zeros will lose. And uh, whichever player has odd number of zeros in a palindromic string will win. Okay. So eventually if the number of unbalanced bit in this problem is zero, like there are no unbalanced bit, which means that if it doesn't have any, any unbalanced, it is a balanced string, which is like a palindromic string and it does boil down to the previous problem. But if the problem has an unbalanced string, unbalanced parts or unbalanced bits, which means that uh, it is not a palindrome, then you have to somehow make all the unbalanced part balance, which is like converting the zero to one, which is actually making them balance. And then after that, the string will become palindrome. So now Alice, because having the first chance, the case can be like for Alice, the case can be, I'll draw it out. It's just four cases. The case can be, the number of unbalanced part is even number of unbalanced unbalanced part means that you will count out how many positions are unbalanced which i told you earlier the positions can be let's say that if i take the string then uh, if i take out this part okay then these are balanced part this is unbalanced because this part is even this part is one so even number of unbalanced positions is even and the number and if we somehow fill the unbalanced part it will form a palindromic string so in the palindromic string the number of zeros is even or odd as i've told you after becoming a palindromic string how many number of zeros and zeros are there they can be also even or not else if the number of unbalanced positions are odd and after rectifying those unbalanced position the number of zeros left in the palindromic string is even or odd. So I can say that that in all of these cases Alice will win. There's only one case in which it will be a draw. 
else every case l is weakened now you might be confusing that why this happened then we cannot talk about all the cases one by one and then you can easily understand that for an odd case let's assume that the number of just take a very small case which is like a one and for even just take two the number of unbalanced positions is only one there is only one unbalanced position now if there is only one unbalanced position what alice will do here is because alice will know that if i fill that unbalanced position how many after filling that the string will become even uh, palindrome because i have told you the after filling out all the unbalanced positions the string will become even and because there is only one unbalanced position if alice will fill that the string will become even and if the string will become even the string will go to uh, like the string will will be palindrome and if the string has even number of zeros then obviously the player which has that string will eventually lose so and if if the string has even number of zeros alice want that that string should go to bob because bob will eventually lose so if the number of string has only one unbalanced position and has even number of zeros alice will take the first chance fill that position and go and that even number of zeros will go to bob and bob will lose else if the number of zeros just listen to me carefully if the unbalanced position is equal to 1 that there is only un one unbalanced position which like as you can see in this position if there is only un one and un unbalanced position and number of zeros after filling that unbalanced position is equal to odd then whichever person has that string will win so in that case alice will not fill that unbalanced position but alice will flip the string so i can tell you maybe you might be getting confused so let's do that the string has only un one unbalanced position which is this and this unbalanced position or oh, and has even number odd number of zeros which which you have to fill again so let's do the string is like this the string is this which has one unbalanced position and after filling this unbalanced position if i fill this unbalanced position it will become like this this after filling every unbalanced position the string will become palindrome as you can see but after making this string palindrome the string might have zeros again so how many zeros it have it can be having even zeros or odd zeros if it has odd number of zeros obviously i have told you if the number has odd number of palindrome then the, then the player which has the palindrome will win and thus to make that happen what will alice do alice will in the first chance because the string is not palindrome alice will flip the string and pass that chance to bob now bob because he has a the uh, unbalanced like a string which is flipped he cannot flip it again he will choose the chance and because there is only one unbalanced position bob will fill that position and because bob has filled that position now the string which is a palindrome will go to alice and the alice will again win so it means that if it is odd and it is even or odd doesn't matter alice will win same you can think over for even part also because if it is even what i can do here is i can bring down every number to an odd number which is like 1 because in the first chance alice can flip the string alice can flip the string when when the string is flipped the chance go to bob the bob will fill one unfilled like unbalanced position and the chance again come to alice and now the unbalanced position decreases by 1 so whatever unbalanced positions are there which is like this whatever unbalanced positions are there Okay, if there are three unbalanced position, in the first chance, Alice will flip the position, the flip the string. Now it goes to Bob. When it go to Bob, Bob cannot flip it. So Bob will have to fill or like balance the unbalanced positions. If ba Bob balance the unbalanced positions, the string is still an palindrome, like it is not a palindrome. But the chance go to Alice. But the number of unbalanced positions now turn down to two because Bob has filled one. Now. Alice is now at a position in which now there are two unbalanced position and Alice can do one thing. Alice will again flip reverse the string. The chance will go to Bob and now Bob because he cannot flip the string, he have to again decrease one unbalanced position to one. And then when it boils down to one again, Alice can in the same thing you can boil down every position to one in which when it comes down to one, what you'll do? Alice have two question which is even and odd. The game turns down only when when it comes down to one and bob or like alice whatever you can like alice it has only one zero left it has only one zero left then alice has taken one turn and there is only one zero left bob has also have to convert that zero to one and then that game become draw 
so this is only one case when the number of unbalanced position is one and after filling that unbalanced position the number of zeros is also one in that case the game can become draw else the game is always in the else hand and else even and that's the logic for this problem uh, you just have to look over that you just have to count out how many different positions are there and how many zeros are there after filling out that different position so you just iterate over that string from the half positions and if the uh, like i and n minus i plus one uh, which is like the mirror image of that bit if they are unbalanced which is like they are not same you will convert you will count out that this is a different part you will like increment find out that there, this is a different part but eventually you will also convert that zero to one or zero like whatever bit is zero converted to one so that you count out how many different positions are there which you have to somehow rectify but because you rectify after that the string becomes a palindrome and then in the palindromic string you just have to count out how many zeros are there like the original problem which i've told you and then if there is no no bit which is different which means that the string is palindrome only you just take the answers for the previous example which means that if the string is palindrome if the, the answer is same if the number of zeros is one or if it if it is even then bob will win else alice will win else if there are some positions which are unbalanced in that case there is only one case in which if the number of unbalanced is equal to one and number of zeros equal to one then the game is draw else in every case alice will win i hope you understand the logic and the code part if you still have not you can mention down as an assignment and then keep coding and bye